Hyvää juhannusta kaikille. Back in Finland, we have many traditions and juhannus is one of the most celebrated ones there. Hi there, I'm Taisto. Thanks very much for joining me for this Finnish connection. Just a moment. Moi! Where are you go? You coming over for Johannes this evening? That's good. Okay, see you then. Hey, hey. My friends are coming over. Most people like to go shopping or go traveling and get together with friends and have parties. But Johannes is a special time for all Finns all over the world. I have something I would like to tell you. But first, let's listen to this song on my radio. So, what is Johannes? What is it all about? Why do we celebrate Johannes? This Midsummer Festival had begun a long time ago, and it had been a pagan tradition originally. They celebrated Ukko, the god of weather and thunder. And they did this to convince, convince their gods to bring good crops and fertility to all of those whose livelihood depended on agriculture for the coming year. However, that tradition changed about 700 years ago. Christianity was introduced to Finland. And so they mixed both the pagan and the Christian traditions together and called it St. John the Baptist Day. Now the name John translated into Finnish is Johannes, which was then changed to Johannus. It is one of the biggest celebrations in Finland today. Another tradition was that they put birch tree boughs or branches on both sides of the doors and gates to welcome visitors. And every Finnish city had its own summer agenda and events. Most of the shops and restaurants and businesses were closed. People gathered together around bonfires. During the daytime, they had many church weddings and baptisms and confirmation ceremonies. The very first recorded midsummer bonfires were held in Turku back in 1645. There they raised a midsummer pole and they feasted by eating roasted sausages. And they sang and danced around the bonfires. They had saunas and went swimming. And then they relaxed under the midsummer sun. Traditions do give us a sense of comfort and belonging. They bring families together and they help us to connect also with our friends. Traditions help us to unite as a country, to be Finnish. And traditions give us lasting memories for us to cherish for many years to come. No matter what no religious beliefs are, 
Finns all over the world want to enjoy this celebration. However, traditions can vanish over time, or it can be become foreign to us. Interestingly, Jesus had a few harsh words reserved for the religious leaders of his day. For they elevated the traditions of men above the word of God. And somehow, God was lost in this process. And that's why I think it's important to recognize that not all traditions are based on actual facts. Celebrations can be hiding something real from you. You need to search it and discover that for yourself. Traditions are like an onion. You need to peel the layers away to discover the truth. Traditions are layered with all the laughter and the eating and drinking and the dancing and the sitting in. Late at night, the shadows appear from the light of the bonfires bouncing on the skyline. These are the layers to peel back. The real reason for celebrating should be given, should be to give glory to our Creator. You may wonder why that excitement does not last, and those happy feelings just vanish into thin air. They're gone. You wonder where they go. You go home and you find yourself feeling lonely and your heart just cries out for the emptiness there is. Life seems to have no meaning. You feel there is no value in celebration. Something is missing, and you don't know what to do. There is a void, a vacuum inside every one of us. It does not get filled with all that Johannus stuff or any other celebration has to offer. The bonfires don't bring us fulfillment. Others cannot fulfill those deep inner feelings and desires. Only a personal relationship with the Creator can do that. Mine Jesus variot poista, when song says. There is more to life than just celebrations. There is a better drink that, that you drink now, and that is to be a follower of Jesus Christ. Consider giving your life totally to Jesus Christ today. For He is that living water that quenches your thirst. He is the light of the world and chases away that darkness inside. He proved this love for you and me on that rugged wooden cross on the Calvary's here nearly 2,000 years ago. He's paid the price for our redemption. He longs to have our full attention. He longs to be a part of your life, now and forever. And He has great plans in store for you, if you just let Him in. He offers an adventure that's beyond your wildest imagination. Why not do it now? Let's pray. Blessed are you, O oh Lord God, creator of the universe. Thank you for reminding us of your amazing love and grace. I confess my sins. Please forgive me. I open my heart to accept you into my life. Thank you for the greatest gift. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's listen to this one beautiful song again. I need to be here more than Jos sä varjot vaan, niin 
viimein saavuttaa. Nostan nyt jo silmät, katso eteen. Valo kirkas loistaa halki pimeyden. Hän on tullut sinne, jossa vaeltaa. Varjoisa tapuolta onnen onkia. Jeesus sua kutsuu pelastukseen, tule ristin juureen epätoivoinen. Tiesi öinen päätyy aamussa rastaan, Jeesuksen kun kanssa matkan aloittaa. Remember that the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings is on your side. He is the mighty warrior. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up and tell others about the Finnish Connection YouTube channel. I hope that this episode has been informative and uplifting to you. Thank you very much. And hyvää juhannusta kaikille!